Across sectors, the world needs broad-minded leaders with extended lines of sight to seize opportunities and lead change in times of escalating complexity. The USIU GEMBA program is a rigorous course of study that focuses on globalization, entrepreneurship, and applicability. The Global Executive MBA is different because, amongst other things, it's a partnership with Frankfurt School of Finance and Management in Frankfurt, Germany. Gemba 13 is the class of 2016 and more than any other class enjoy the program here and they narrate how different the program changed their lives. We were able to carry a guy who's almost twice as heavy as us, but if we work together as a team, the last minute push through for some of our group assignments. There are, there are wide, a wide, wide variety. I cannot start to. Oh, the important network I've made here. I think um, it was quite an amazing time uh, with Jamba people. Um, people with different, different diversities, dif from different industries. Um, different kind of intellectual minds. Um, this is uh, one of the things that I've ever looked forward to, and um, and uh, it's really it's really good uh, network that I've made with um, all uh, all the group members of the the class. Best ever dressed guy. Yeah. Wow. I, I always thought I thought I'm the one, so I. We'll say second to me will be maybe um, uh, Dan Karua. Um He's always a smart girl, guy. A lady, um, Diana, the tall Diana, Diana, my Diana, the tall Diana. She's always just smart. Who will I miss? Uh, I'll really miss, first of all, um, our group, which. Uh, which had really, you know, uh, shaped us uh, as a group. It shaped us together. And um so my name is Esther Mahinda. Networks. I have met quite a number of people here. Diversity, variety. I cannot even start to explain. So, you There've been a couple of characters, to be honest. Uh, Dibaba. Dibaba is loud. You would not fail to notice him in a crowd. My desk mates, they kind of keep me from sleeping. We share candy. They ensure I'm fed right, be right before or after class. My group mates, of course, they mean everything to me. We would not have made it this far without them. And of course, the class in general. Again, there are, there are wide, a wide, wild variety. I cannot start to describe each of them. Most annoying person would probably be. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe me. Because as someone else has really described, I am sort of all over the place. Sort of. Your best lecturer? Best lecturer would probably be our dean, a chalky. I am not a math person. I hate math. Everything to do with math. Like in Napenda Kwesabu Pesa. So he would probably be the person who has brought all everything down to earth for me. Yeah. Best moment. Best moment. Um, I'd probably describe one of our group work environments where I, I would think probably it's just in my group. We make a lot of jokes. Okay, we also drink when we're doing group work. And we eat a lot. I don't know. With us... We know how to draw the line between fun and being serious, but at the end of the day, we have actually delivered some of the most kick-ass presentations in this class. What is the class uh, Probably, first of all, I am the youngest in my class, so I don't think I have to go too far. Yeah. What did it feel like being in class with the people of this 
by virtue of them, first of all, being older, at first it's, intimi it's intimidating because you imagine these are people who have more years of experience than you. They've been at this longer than you have. Probably some of them also going to think that you do not know anything at your age. But with time, they sort of get to understand your mindset. You understand their mindset, then you kind of make it work. I think at the end of the day, it's about meeting in the middle. Yeah. Okay, my name is Michael Sindani, Jemba uh, 13 student. Okay, I've made several important networks uh, in the class, and uh, people from people uh, coming from different industries, which some have translated into business, and uh, yeah, we've really interacted with a very brilliant business people and also professionals. Yeah, as you've said and others have said, I really share the same sentiments because uh, Professor Nyerere challenged our intellect and really made us think outside the box and I think he's a level 5 leader as he has always told us in class. Yeah, she's done a very good job as a leader. She's approachable. She's uh, very committed to her activities as a leader. And I can give her a clean bill of health as a leader for Gembata thing. Uh, I wouldn't say one particular person, but I would say I would miss uh, our team, of course, the S team, and the entire class. I can say it's a blend of people from different backgrounds and different abilities and talents. So I really miss the entire Jemba 13 class. Yes. Okay, I would uh, admire uh, the S team. <laughs> yes, and I also Invictus. <laughs> I also admire the Invictus team and, and the way they they were doing their things, uh, led by Mr. Amani himself, and. Uh, with other team members, they've really given us a challenge when we're doing the presentations in class. So I can say they are the people who challenged our brilliant presentation skills in Jemba 13. My name is Gladwell Jambi K here. Um, what else do you want to know about me? The oh, the networks. Um, I think most importantly is the networks we've made in Invictus and the kind of family relationship we've had. It's, it's gotten more than just a group. It's become like family, you know. Um, everyone in Gamba is unique in their way. They are a network and a net worth because they each have their unique skills, their unique um, personalities and their knowledge, their depth of knowledge in their professions. We have bankers, we have doctors, we have media personalities. So all of them add to a nice pot of um, mixed cultures and, and personalities. So oh, it's hard to pick. I'll miss everyone. <laughs> um, but especially my desk mates, Joram and Esther. They're the best. I mean, you'd find sometimes the class is a bit taxing, but they make you laugh. And you get through the lecture after a long day of work. So my desk is... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's me. <laughs> I, I don't think <laughs> I don't think anyone is annoying, but um, yeah, I, I I just I'll just miss everyone and the goofiness at times and how the Baba would ask questions whether or not there was a question to be asked, but he made the class lively. Um, wow, there are many. I think this semester has had the best so far with the innovation professor, Professor Scott where he takes you out of your comfort zone. I think one highlight was how we were able to carry a guy who's almost twice as heavy as us, but if we work together as a team, we can 
carry him up, you know, in the exercise. Um, Nyerere's class, when he made us redo a presentation almost three times, CMEX, I will never forget that concept. Um, it, it made us see that there's a lot to learn, yeah, if we put our minds to it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they'll miss <laughs> my smile. <laughs> Let me be a bit vain. <laughs> yeah, but um, maybe the laughter, the, the smiles, and um, just the interactions, basically. What they don't know about me? That I get mad. I actually get mad sometimes, and I'm really serious. <laughs> about it. My name is Anthony Okwako um, and uh, part of my important network uh, is um, uh, the entrepreneurs within uh, the Jemba 13 group, uh, uh, Sam Ochola, the CEO, the likes of uh, Mudomi with his Tawi Enterprise and uh, Njogu with his um, uh, property business. Uh, those are, uh, I see them being very good networks for now and for the future. Uh, what are some of the highlights that you had in this Wow, they had good highlights and uh, they uh, had nothing to do with the classroom and the studies. Uh, my highlights were more to do with the social events and activities that we did together. Uh, so time spent at Maasai Lodge, uh, the uh, uh, dinners we had uh, with group members, um, the, our involvement uh, at the Ruta orphanage with the, with the children and the CSR work around that. Uh, to me those were, were really uh, memorable moments. Um, th I think the, the, the worst would fall in the category of um, uh, the last minute push through for some of our group assignments. Uh, I think as, um, as, as a, a group, uh, we could have done better in uh, preparing early enough to deliver our deliverable deliverables. And there were occasions when there was a last minute rush for my group as well as for other groups. And that could show in the quality of work that we presented to our professors. Oh, for sure it has to be Eric Mudomi. Uh, he, I would have loved to hear more from him. Uh, he, he is an entrepreneur, so he's got a lot going on. Uh, but um, he was very quiet and soft-spoken, and at times laid back. Wow. Um, I would say an annoying in, 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 an, in an okay way, in a bearable way. Uh, it, it's got to be Dan Karua for sure. Uh, uh, um, I think he is probably unmatched in that regard. Um, yes. My name is Patience Ndianabanji and uh, my most important networks have been my Invictus uh, team but most importantly uh, some of also the, the lecturers that we have been dealing with like Prof Nyere and Prof Achoki. You mean the professors or this? I will miss Professor Nyerere, uh, to be uh, uh, precise, but I'll miss my, my teammates, I'll miss the Invictus team, and I'll surely miss the class too, the Jemba 13. Yeah. Some of your worst moments? Uh, the worst moments were when we had uh, one group uh, break up in the Jemba 13, where one of us, or one of our teammates had to move from one team to the other. It didn't really go well from my side. Uh, I felt it was just not a professional uh, way of doing things. Um, who can you say was the most annoying person or in any way? Um, there wasn't anybody particularly annoying, but I would say, you know, the lovely annoying I love to see uh, Esther jumping around and she would be like one of my children, you know, running around the house. So I loved seeing her jumping around. So it wasn't naughty per se in a bad way. Uh. Okay. So my name is uh, Sabo Chola. Uh, in class I'm known as CEO. And uh, I've really enjoyed my time here in uh, USIU, Jamba 13. 
And I think uh, my joining the, uh, the master's degree was a very good idea. I've learned a lot, especially on leadership and, um, and uh, all the other subjects, finance. Uh, we did uh, something on innovation. And all these things have really uh, helped me uh, make myself a better person. And I've uh, tried this, some of the things I've done in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, at the company I work for, or I run, and it's really helped me. So who can you say you will miss most and for what? Oh, I've got my team. It's called the S team. I'll miss them very much. Mike, uh, Sheila, Diana, Mburu, yeah. Uh, there's Aziz and there's Mary, all very great people. These are the people who have been close to me for the last one year, and I'll miss them greatly. Yeah, but I, of course I used to like uh, the team called Ndovu. Uh, Ndovu are a very aggressive group of guys, yeah? And uh, they really made my, my day over here, and many other people. So who can you say was the most annoying person, either in a good way or irritating? Uh, of course my team, my president, uh, Diana. Yeah? Not annoying, she was uh, very aggressive. And Sheila, I like the competition they had, and it made our team very great and very competitive throughout. So it was uh, great working with the two of them. And even the other guys, the men were called sissies. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we were like, uh, we used to listen to the two of the, these ladies throughout, but they, were, they really challenged us. So what were the difficult moments, the stressing times? Ah, Mr. Choki, Professor, yeah, <laughs> that was the financial uh, classes, yeah, those are the most stressful times of my education, uh, there's Professor Nyerere also, uh, who really pushed us to very high levels of understanding and integrity, I'd like to say thank you very much, uh, we learned a lot from the two of them, they were my best lecturers. Okay. Mm. So, uh, you highlight some of the good moments, the good events that you had. Uh, in Jember, I think every day has been a good moment for me. We've had a lot of fun. I'm looking uh, forward to our German trip, which we talk about every oh, day. Trip. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, we're going to Frankfurt for two, and, and then we go for a European tour. So I'm looking forward to that. But otherwise, uh, the class has been great. Well, um, uh, I came, I, I joined Kaizen Group, and this was like. Uh, we bonded so much. We could take care of our faults, our weaknesses. The people who were strong in this area could take care of it very well. And we could understand. Uh, Ajemba. Ajemba class is not for ordinary. You get executives whereby sometimes school life and work life just crash. But I'll miss Kaizen for keeps. And I look forward to actually joining each other somewhere up there and looking forward to <sighs> retaining my closeness with them. Highlights maybe one event that you made, you don't forget. Ah, I think there was, that was end of first semester when we realized that groups were tearing apart each other. And it was sad for me that uh, we could realize that some groups actually ejected the members. And I think that saddened me. It was not my group, but I, I got shocked realizing that they couldn't tolerate each other. And these are executives. The most annoying person? Ah, I don't have. Best lecturers? Ah, I have two. Can I have two? It's okay. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed Professor Nyerere's class. The approach was awesome. He could take us through the mother and the strategy. The mother's, the mother, her mother, his mother, like is the control of the home, and that made us feel so good as women. And looking forward to be controllers. Mm -hmm. Another one is our dean, Professor Choki. I freak in maths. I freak in finance, and he could really, really highlight so that I make sure I do those assignments. And I'll remember. I, I, I added a lot of value to me. N noisiness in class. I'm just noisy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Definitely the barber. Um, he has a dark sense of humor, so that, that that's literally speaks to my soul, so yes. So what can you say are some of the highlights, the best moments you've had? 
transformational leadership class. The whole class was a nice experience. Um, the, um, the entrepreneurship class this last semester, it's an experience from start to finish. Um, the dinner at uh, Habesha, yeah. Difficult moments, distressing times? Of course the exams. <laughs> okay, uh, who was the most annoying person? In a good way or in a bad way? Well, Fuller, <laughs> in both good and bad ways. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he, before, I, I knew Wafula before Gemba. I, I know him at Gemba, so yeah, so I think I can pass that opinion confidently. Who is the best lecturer? That's a tough one. Between Nyerere and uh, Joseph, so. So both of them? No, Nyerere takes it any day, so yeah. If I had to choose. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's so special about this class? Which class? Gemba 2013, the Gemba 13. I know the um, the networks, um, the the perspective, the global perspective is different. So, yeah. Um, what will you be missed for? Me missed for? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know if they'll miss me, but. Um, I, I think I, uh, I was one of the best group presidents they'll ever have. I can you say that confidently. President? Yes. Not the class president, the group, one of okay. the group presidents, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't even notice if she drinks whiskey or vodka. So, yeah. so you'd like to know if she drinks whiskey? Yeah, I don't know yeah. if she does. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know about open book. That's, that's a secret. So. 33 of us, it has been a year of uh, very close interactions, good times, hard times, um, that brought us very close together. So from each person, I made, I believe I made a lot of good friends, but the closest ones being, of course, my immediate, immediate group, which is Invictus. So yeah, those are my closest networks. Um, one singular person that I will miss. I hope that going beyond the class that I will, I will keep in touch, we will keep meeting, um, we will continue to uh, attend each other's functions, have meetups. So hopefully there won't be a separation going forward. So hopefully, other than Dibaba who lives and works outside the country, so yes, I'll miss Dibaba. I'm sure we won't see him as often as I'll see the rest. But for those who are here, I'm hoping that we'll keep meeting up. Best lecturer? Best lecturer. Um, that's a tough choice. I, I have about four lecturers that I really enjoyed. But <laughs> best I'll pick Professor Nyerere uh, because I felt that his lectures had the most impact in my life and to my way of thinking. Yeah, opened my mind to be transformational, uh, to have an effect in the in the world that we live in, to the people that we interact with, and not for the short while in terms of just giving once, but to aim to be transformational and uh, changing to the people that we interact with. Worst moments. Um, sometimes the assignments got hectic. One or two exams were really hard. So yeah, those were the worst moments. What will they miss you for? I'll say the, the interactions that we've had, uh, because every day before class we'd come, meet up, talk, catch up, um, attend a class together, share notes, share information, have a break, talk again. Um, if there's anything to do beyond class, then we will interact. So I think what I'll be missed for by my classmates is the close interaction and the friendships that we made. But I'll insist, I hope to keep doing lunches and uh, meetups and drink up. So my name is Mary Gitinji. My important networks, definitely my team members. We had our ups and downs, we fought, we laughed, and I'll miss those guys terribly. Actually, we actually connected and a few more people in the Gemba team. Some of my best moments were Professor Nyerere's class. He had the best um, theories. 
actually I loved his class the best. Most person? That has to be Dibaba. The guy no hate, uh, but his questions were pretty annoying. But anyway, we love him still. I think they knew quite a bit, but the fact that um, I've taken up cooking and I like to hike. Last word. Last word, this has been an incredible journey. I'm going to miss 80% of the team and on to better challenges. Best networks that I've found through Jemba were, I think, meeting different people uh, from uh, executives and CEOs and uh, Guys who have been there in terms of experience, uh, the likes of Sam Machola, the CEO, uh, meeting uh, Dan, uh, David Kinua, seeing how they have been able to start business and even to be able to prosper through it. It gave me an avenue to understand that <coughs> actually it's possible in, uh, to do this in Kenya and to do business. Then I think the best uh, moments I had were, I think, Nyerere, <laughs> him teaching transformational leadership, actually equipped me with a lot of info in terms of leadership and what we need to do. I think it also spurred me to understand that their teaching uh, way is pretty different from the obvious one, and it made me to engage in a lot of it. Uh, the most annoying moment, uh, <laughs> I have to remember that. <laughs> um, okay, your highlights, maybe? My highlights, hey, there are many. I think even just being accepted for Jambo was a highlight for me. I felt even if I had experience, I didn't feel I had uh, reached up to that level, so it was a highlight. And even coming through the full course, it's been a good journey. The highlight also doing the CSR project for the Ruta Shade was very equipping that to be able to know that you can actually impact. I've never seen that for any of the previous universities where I've gone, that you're being told that you need to do a CSR project. Who will you miss afterwards? Ah, I will miss <laughs> many things. I will miss the class <laughs> coming here every after every two weeks. I think I will miss Amani, Dibaba, the Louis Makers. I think I will miss Koso. We used to sit with her every day uh, in the class. So uh, there are many guys Makopa, Dan Karupa, Ukwako, with my whole group. Uh, shout out to Jael, <laughs> Rosie, Jackie, Diana, Eunice. Done. The group was oh. okay. Diana Mugambi. Important networks has to be my team. We fought, we laughed, we had fun. It, they are those ones. I'll definitely keep them. The rest, maybe. One person you miss and for what reason? Oh, no, I'll miss seven people. Yes, seven. I'm the eighth. <laughs> two. Oh my god, no, it's seven. It can't be two. So you can't mention any. No, no. No, no. It's the ace team. Those ones I'll miss. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Has to be those people who used to get tea when the lecturer is talking. And the waiter would just come with tea and you're wondering, couldn't it wait? Those ones, yes. Those were annoying. Me, for insisting we do assignments on time. Okay, your last word? My last word. This, uh, this was a great year. This semester was so, so the other two were awesome in terms of the lecturers. My name is Diana Irungu. Most important network is definitely my, I'll say the whole class, but my group. I came in late and they're the first people to actually take me in. Uh, the rest looked at me a bit dodgy. Like this, Aka comes Chana. Ata to Saidia. But uh, as time went on, I actually made friends with all of them. Um, I have no enemies in this class, so I will miss every single one of them because I have one more semester to go. And I don't think the next class will be as fun as they are. So, 
uh, I would say Adibaba, because for some reason he doesn't want to allow people to leave class on time because of his 10,000 questions. I come from a non-profit background, so I was able to meet people from the banks, from insurance, and from other for-profit companies, so that has really diversified my understanding of how the profit sector works. So, I mean, for me, it's like crossing to the other side. So it's really a big achievement in terms of creating a network with those people. So who you miss and uh, for what reason? Um, well, I will first of all miss um, Moadime and Wafula because in as much as we are here to attend an executive course, they also bring some life to it that we are human beings, so we joke and we play. I miss the person I sit next to, Pauline. She, she's just somebody who is, for me, she's a complete woman in every aspect. She's very wise and matured. And then uh, I also miss my Nduvu group. Nduvu, we are called, we are eight. And yeah, we meet every Saturday to do our assignments. We all sometimes go for social and all that. So for me, it was a family away from, from home. It's a, it's a time when I really have to go to the field to check on my projects, but I also don't want to miss class, and I've never missed class except once when I traveled to the U.S. for family reasons. So, yeah, projects were really, they need me there, but I don't want to travel as much as uh, I used to travel. But at the end of the day, I think it was a win-win both for me and for my work because the work did not also suffer as much as I was afraid it would. So the best moment like you are high Well, the best moments are especially when we have presentations and we see a be the best of each other, that some groups would really come up with this wow sort of presentation. And then you wonder that you were really with a crowd which is so intelligent and, and talented as, as our group is. And then I think the moments also are when we were working on the Riruta project uh, talking of the Riruta project, the class of 2016 remembers with nostalgia the project of transformational leadership uh, that saw them interact and engage with the children of Shades of an Age Riruta. We cut this with with knife, with knife or something, eh? Come, come. So, so. In this project, the team managed to work closely with the kids in different activities, including tree planting, mentorship, and the renovation of some of the classes. Okay, no, to me, to in 1986, when I started this project. The main reason for joining Jamba is to, for, for the contacts and for networking in terms of uh, career and even Far beyond that, friendship, friendships that you can keep, you know, for long. And that has been atta attained with the fact that we have, um, we have very many, we are diverse. We've been a very diverse class from bankers to insurers to um, uh, cargo freighters and all that. And it, it's been an amazing journey together. We have... These groups where we were working together to do assignments and uh, that even has brought us closer to people that you never knew you would meet. Business people, entrepreneurs and all that. And those are people you take and in future you give business to. Or you, you, in future you know who you can rely on and you know them because you've been with them for over a year. So who will you miss and for what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I miss very many people, to be honest. I, I don't think we are 33 of us, and it's not a big number not to miss. Not, not, not to miss. I'll miss my group members. Uh, we've shared many intimate moments in terms of doing assignments. Sometimes it's not been easy. We fight, we laugh, we share. <laughs> and I, I, I would say people in my group. I miss Sheila and her bubbliness. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I guess. It, what are, are some of the difficult moments that you had during the, the, the class? 
assignment times, uh, yeah, assignment times where you have to do assignments, you have to work. I travel a lot, and especially this year, started in a uh, very pressing, uh, tough time, and it's it's been hectic. You wouldn't want to miss class because first of all, we pay a lot of money to be here, <laughs> and so missing a class sometimes it's um, it costs you. And it's it's actually your loss. I feel most of the time, like when I'm when I'm away and I'm missing class, it's 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 my loss because every class you take away home something, and that's the most important thing. It's not even about the exams or whatever. It really doesn't matter. Hi, my name is Sheila Mudeu, Jemba Thirteen. So Sheila, what are what are the most important networks that you made from this class? The most important network for me has been friendship. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Who will you miss, and for what reasons? That is a very tricky question. Um, who wouldn't I miss, I think would be most ideal. Um, I will not miss uh, some of our lecturers. Um, in particular, I don't think I'll miss finance as much. Uh, yes, and um, entrepreneurship. But in as far as my classmates are concerned, they were all fabulous in all their own ways. So I guess everyone will still be in my heart in a special way. What are some, some of the highlights? The nice events you had, the good classes. Mm, the highlights. Wow. We used to have uh, meet and greet sessions um, in Habesha. I'll miss that. And one of the key events that really stood out for me was uh, our CSR activity that we had at uh, Diruta Orphanage, where we all came together for this common, common, common purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very interesting. Who was the most annoying person? Either too noisy or always there. <laughs> <laughs> Someone I used to know would always challenge whatever I say is Kajams or other is, yeah, Kajams and Jambi. Mm -hmm. She was a, she is rather still very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an interesting person to go at with. Mm -hmm. Who was your best lecturer? Wow. Professor Nyerere. Without a doubt. <laughs> What's so special about this class? The course itself? No, the, the class, the people. The people. Yes. We are a unique cohort. You have extremities. You have the uptight teams. Then you have the social teams. And you have the guys who just uh, swing from left to right depending on the, the feel of the day. So that was interesting guys in entrepreneurship like myself so a couple of guys like um, David um, CEO uh, etc Esther guys who run businesses so they understand challenges that are faced as an entrepreneur so we're able to share and exchange uh, ideas contacts etc that have been quite useful now and going forward okay so who will you miss and for what I'll definitely miss the entire class because it's been a great experience since I joined Jemba last year up until now. we become like a family, so I believe we'll still keep in touch uh, despite us not meeting physically. We may stay in touch maybe on WhatsApp, on phone, on email, so, but I'll, I'll miss the entire group. So what's this about uh, your best moments, like your highlights? So far my highlight has been, um, I'll say two two units or two courses. Um, this semester we've taken a course with Scott, which has been quite interesting. And then last semester the session with uh, Professor Nyerere was also really good, um, really inspiring for, for myself and I think for everyone in the class. The worst or the most difficult moments? Most difficult I would say has been the project because it was so something very uh, involving in terms of the work involved and uh, putting it together, sending it to the professor, getting back the feedback, having to redo things. So it's been really, really taxing and time consuming. But that said, I believe it has uh, an impact because it's something that you can use to think of an idea and take it forward. This program did not only change their economic life, but also had so much impact on their social lives.
The class organized social events that enabled them to interact further and deeply into their personal lives. Yeah, a bit. Oh, no, 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 the canvas, but then as you all know, we were told that these two customer segment and value preposition carries 80% of the risk. So we opted to go deeper uh, using these two blocks for, for copper by saying they leave off the grid in the most location where there is no access. But there are also households who are living on the grid. I wish I could show you a picture which shows a house which is just under a cable but does not have a power because of the high convection fee which has to be paid up front. And with, with a meter and all that, it is almost the, the, the amount they pay for acquiring the entire house. And then they said, what is happening to these people? These people are also going through a daily expense of 17 Kenyan shillings on average buying kerosene. Seven, yeah, seven zero. Buying kerosene. And on top of that, they also spend money for firewood and rice. Then the, they ask the question, how can we make it easy for them? How can we enable all the grid households to access affordable power? Then they answer the question by saying, well, we need to provide an alternative to off the grid power. They say we also need to make the service affordable to, because even those on the grid cannot access power because they cannot. And then the provision of after sales services. And finally, the gain creators are clean energy as an affordable cost. Households would acquire wealth through a state financing mechanism. Basically, guys, when you look at it in a broad sense, these are households who in normal circumstances will not be given any loan. So MCOPA did not only give them power, they change these households from being bankable, from being unbankable to being bankable. So in terms of their social perception, they have really created a big gain by changing their social status. So they did not solve their functional and emotional problems, they have also solved their social problems by uplifting them from the poverty line where people were saying, well, those people living in the dark houses, the poor ones, they are not... Because Jemba has a partnership with Germany, the 2016 class is headed to their Frankfurt visit as part of the course where they undertake trainings in the school and also industrial visits to companies in Germany. Hey, Paul. 
the toes, eh? Bank. <laughs> so guys, officially welcoming you to the end of year party. It's been a fantastic year, yeah. knowing all of you. And I'm sure we can have some few speeches from different people as I organize myself and also look beautiful for camera. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, John, you want to say something? No? That you don't know us, you don't have nothing to say. Yeah. Okay, it's quite a, an ambush. Um, I ain't prepared. I was not prepared for a speech. I just showed up just to have fun. And um, in short, I think um, Jebba Patin uh, has been an awesome team uh, in our dynamics. We love each other. And in, um, in such a short time, like we're done, guys. Eh? Um, I was just sharing with uh, my dear sister here. I'm telling you, in life is so funny. Yesterday, guys were fighting over small issues. Today, actually, you might never see some of them. And that's life. Right? So, um, it's a small world, it's a small village. Let's not, let's not just cut this cord so soon. Let's keep on talking to each other, checking up on each other, reaching out for each other. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love you all. Um, like, this very now, who next to pick all oh, this one? This guy. I'm not gonna come out of this. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll try and be brief if I can. Um, we are good, time on my side, yeah? So, so, so yes, um, um, just as, as has been said by my, you know, the people who stood here before me, uh, I'm quite glad to have met and known uh, each one of you and to have spent some time with you over the last year or so. Uh, I think it's been a good journey with Bina and, and um, I'm really grateful uh, 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 to have been part of this experience. Um, I, I wish everyone all the best in their future endeavors. Uh, I certainly uh, hope and expect that we will continue to be in touch and, and, and maintain the, the good relationships that we've built. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we never know where, where the future will lead us. Uh, but really, thank you everyone and uh, let's continue to be together. Yes. You know, I go and see who's going to stand eh? quickly so that the guy doesn't go around the room. <laughs> so, um, where? Where? Who want a uh, uh, So, where is the DJ with it? Those things. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> kidding. Uh, I'll give this opportunity to see you. Um, and also highlight the fact that he's been so generous to us. Filming videos. I don't know when we are going to see the videos, but we come and I buy my pictures out to keep like, oh, is it? Oh, is it? Yes. <laughs> Hi everybody. Diana, Diana, Diana. 
I, I, before, before I talk, you know, in my culture, and uh, we, before we talk, sometimes we invite many other people. So I'd like to invite my president to come and say a word. Uh -huh. yeah. Dan is special. I love her. Yeah. And then um, she can say one or two things and call the ladies in my team to say one or two things before I finish. Okay? ST is, is, is great. I, I love Dovu, this Kazian. What was the other team called? The others, and the others. <laughs> but Dovu really put us on our toes. <laughs> and and, and uh, they, they are great, but let, right now let us just, let me give my president something to say. I'm John Dovu. I'm John see after the sponsor has spoken. <laughs> okay. I think for me, one, it's just to appreciate this team. Uh, it was just the other day to look at United orientation. And uh, this day is here. I want to say a big thank you to, of course, the ACE team. You guys were awesome. As in, seriously. Good work was so much fun. <laughs> like we thought, we thought we got to group up. Yes, yes. You know one thing I like about Gemba? Is it Gemba or Gemba? Gemba. Is that I never make public speeches. But today, because of people like Nero and Gladwellia, and there's this important guy called uh, Dibaba. I used to bring a lot of fire in me. I, I, I became a big vocal and I stand here today. So I hope 2022 I will be governor of Seattle. That's where I come from. But I'd like to thank you guys a lot uh, for supporting my team here. My team is on that has been doing all the video coverage and uh, there's a, very, a lot of interesting uh, things which uh, we, we can't release right now, yeah? We don't want you guys fighting here like Jubilee. But <clears throat> when, when we come back from Germany and all that, we will all get a link. I want you guys, if you have pictures, if you have any, whatever you want us to use, please always send it to my guy, my lady. Not my lady, sorry. <laughs> To the people in my office, they do, do not post that thing on Twitter. But I'd like to say one thing. Go and sit down. We have a lot of time. Yeah? What is the name of 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 the name you guys, it's, it's, it's been very lovely. I'm call, you guys call me CEO, but I'm called Sam. I do hope that uh, whatever we can, <laughs> whatever comes out at the end of all this thing will be great. Me, I'm continuing. Uh, I, I, after this, I'm going to, to continue the, the rest of the, the studies. Then I'm going to do my DBA. I hope I'll meet some of you guys there. Yeah? I'm continuing. Because... <laughs> <laughs> no. But you know, this guy is, partially, is actually partially correct. Because in the New Office of Kenya, we have to get someone now again from the north. So we have a very quick, quick interview. So there are two questions this guy was asked quickly. What was the index before? I love him. I love him. To come and say, are you good in purple? That was what you put in purple. I can't give you purple. I can't give you purple.
Anyway, guys, nice to meet all of you. Uh, and I, I really hope this, this can continue. Yeah, yeah, Jael. Although Jael, I don't know what happened in the last semester. Jael is like somebody switch a light off. Jael, you are on form. Semester one, semester two. Then Jael just went off grid. What happened? happened? No, no, no. She went to NASA. She went to NASA. Yeah. Jael, we're missing the Jael we had term one and term two. But even Kajams, Kidogo, Umeenda Siji, 20 watts, because first, first sem and second sem. You know. So I think you guys, Bana, you need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. After all, you come on. Let me go and switch off. Like in any way. So, so, so. Any guys? Thank you. And uh, great meeting all of you. We'll continue then also to form informing at a small WhatsApp. We already have like a small roadhouse grid for anyone who's in that Kilimani area. Any time for lunch time, there's like a WhatsApp group going around. Uh, see you in the kuwa. This is what happened. <laughs> 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 so first day when go I don't know. First table, second table. Yeah. Oh, they just looked at each other like, shit, you guys look all stiff like me. <laughs> What's going on? I'm going to story out to you, interview. I'm going to say no. But don't kill me, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I had no intention whatsoever. So. Um, as a deep director of something. Uh, I don't do this by the way. So I, I'm sure you can see. But thanks for meeting everyone. It was a good year. So for me, the whole idea about school is, um, I don't know, one year has cushioned so fast. Eh? Is it one and a half years or one year? One year. One year in the I remember the first day I was meeting the Baba. The, the last day we were drinking with him, then the only word we could say was we literally survived the one year. Because Ngumbaru is not good, man. <laughs> hey, reading when you were when you were 17 was easy. Right now, hey, you have to juggle Jobo, Chipos, work, <laughs> school. Crazy man, yeah. Hey, you have to be realistic. Watoto, Baraka, Koshule, Bibi. Yeah, exactly. So, for, for the people who literally did it easily, but they good luck. For me, it was hard as hell.
goodbyes are painful, so we better call it parting ways. Finally, best wishes and future interactions topped the list of every class member in the Jemba 13 class. <laughs> The team had a array of experiences and this continues. How we were able to carry a guy who's almost twice as heavy as us, but if we work together as a team. Uh, the last minute push through for some of our group assignments. There are, there are wide, a wide, wide variety. I cannot start to 